Ooh. Oh my god. I have never. Listen to me. Listen. I have never seen such a beautiful specimen before. And I'm talking about myself. What's crack a lacking, you sexy motherfuckers? It is your boy. I'm back in the flesh. I don't know what else to say, but I'm fucking back. So since apparently I don't have a life, I thought to myself, hey, why not record myself reading dirty things off the internet? Like that's, that's, that's never been done before, right? We about to have a spicy video. Mwah, muy delicioso, Mwah. Before the video starts, I just wanna say, this lotion right here, right here, I do not use it to jerk off, okay? I'm not a fucking animal. I use Vaseline. Today is actually a very, very special day because we have a we have a sponsor today. Actually, uh, you guys may or may not have heard of them. They're called Brazzers, a very smart intellectual company. If you don't know about Brazzers, I don't know what you're what you're doing with your life. They're revolutionizing the world, and it'll only cost you nineteen ninety nine a month. So Brazzers, being the fun loving company that they are, they hit me up and they said, "Yo, Emil, you're an African American." Let's work together. And I was like, yeah, dude, like, this is what fucking slavery was for. Like, for me to work with Brazzers, that's been my life's goal. And I've just accomplished it. Uh. Now let's get into this video. Hold on, my, my, my phone's ringing. Why the fuck? Why do people always want to call me whenever I'm, like, filming? Oh, shit, it's Brazzers. Hey, what's up, guys? I actually just did, like, the, the, the sponsored reading for you get What? Yeah? What? What do you mean you don't want to work with me anymore? No, dude, I just... I, no, like, I, I just... No, like, I just I just read the... Like, what you guys told me to read for you? The 1999 a month? The, yeah, like, I, I did all of that. Yeah. I don't get it. Why don't you want to... Lawsuit? What, what fucking lawsuit? What... Okay, but do I... Like, do, do I... Do I still get the condoms though? All right guys, sit back, take your hand out your pants, and let's get started with the video. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm... Let's just go, all right? So the first word we have here is the word bitch. And I'm, if you haven't heard this word before, then, then you're just a bitch. The word bitch, it's one of the most versatile words in the English language. It is used to express a multitude of emotions, anger, anticipation, despair, Endearment, envy, excitement, fear, horror, joy, shock, surprising, war. Okay, we, I, we fucking get it. The word bitch can be, it, it can be used in a negative way and it can be used in a positive way. It can be used in a sexual way. There's really, you can use, it, it can, any way you fucking want to, it can be used. Here's a couple ways you could use it. Oh my God, Jessica is such a bitch. You see that girl over there? That's a bad bitch. I just want to go outside. Mom, stop being a bitch. I get tons of bitches. And I'm not talking about the ones from Petco. And eh. Next on our list, we have a golden shower. Oh, God. I'm reading this right now. This is so disgusting. <laughs> okay, it says a golden shower to urinate on another human being for sexual gratification, usually by somebody who's never heard the words personal or hygiene strung together in the same sentence. Well, they just fucking roasted whoever whoever does this. Okay, I understand that people have fetishes. There are certain things that turn certain people on. I 100% get that. But what like what what has happened to you in your life to make you so fucked up <laughs> to want to pee on someone during sex? How how would you even pee on someone during sex? Cuz wouldn't I don't know. No, 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 not gonna go in detail. I can imagine that the person who came up with this, they were probably just bored one day and they wanted to try something new with their partner and they were just like, babe, I'm feeling kind of horny tonight. You mind if I uh, pee on your chest a little bit? Oh my God, babe, you wanna pee on my chest? I thought you would never ask. Ah, uh, yes, if it isn't my good old friend, the Cleveland Steamer. Cleveland Steamer, a sexual act by nature is when one person craps on another person's chest, then sits down and rocks back and forth like a 
like a steamroller? Bro, rednecks have cleaner sex than than what these fucking people are doing. Maybe after a Cleveland steamer, you could take a golden shower after, huh? 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 N no? Yeah, that was a pretty bad joke. I'm sorry. Yo, what's up, bro? Um, listen, my toilet isn't working. You mind if I could just use your chat? Hello? I also love Urban Dictionary because they give you like little sentences, like the how they put the words in. It's, it's really funny what they give you. So it says here, Billy had just gotten out the shower, so me and John gave him... They... <sighs> they gave Billy a Cleveland steamer. Why? I don't know. Next, we have the African Googles. Uh, oh, I mean, goggles. There we go. African Googles, placing each individual's testicles over a poor suspect's eye, causing a goggle effect. The term African is in reference to the darkness it creates when one tries to see through the impenetrating depths of his buddy's bow sack. Uh, pretty racist, but... I'll let it slide. I mean, I've heard the term teabagging. I've heard of that, but I, I is it, is it the same thing? Cause I've never heard of African goggles before. What the fuck? Next up, we have a hoe, and it, I'm, I'm sure we've all, we've all heard that, that word before. A hoe is a bitch who does it with everyone. They should put in bracket, except me. I found this term called a popcorn hoe. It says a female who usually appears average in her daily life then suddenly transforms dressing to impress typically on a Friday or Saturday night getting turned up. I, I didn't... Okay, I didn't even know there was a word for females who did that, but okay. But where does the popcorn part come in? I don't, I don't know. Okay, that pretty much wraps up whatever the fuck this video was. Before I go, I thought this would be pretty cool to put all the words that we looked at together into a big long paragraph. And I'm gonna read it to you guys and you're gonna tell me if you think it's dope or not. This took me like five minutes to work on, so if it's half-assed, then... That's probably why, because it took me five minutes. There once was a hoe named Sally, who had a younger brother named Tally. People at school called her a hoe, because she gave head at the pep rally. Some called her a bitch, though she didn't care. A female that likes the African rain goggles, now that's pretty rare. Her parents were quite wealthy, buying her marvelous things, a new dress, new shoes, and she even got a new car, called a Beamer. But later that day, she got a good old Cleveland steamer. Little Sally felt as though she had all the power, but broke up with her boyfriend because he wouldn't give her a golden shower. As I wrap up this silly little video, like the video and subscribe. You already know. And now it's off to the movies to find me a popcorn hoe.